So this is uh, the clicker question that we did on Wednesday that we ran a little bit short on time with. It's a combustion analysis problem. You're asked to find the empirical formula of a compound that has carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. You have the initial mass of the compound. Then you have the mass of carbon dioxide and the mass of water. So as we talked about in class, first you want to find the moles of CO2 and water. Then you want to find the moles of carbon and hydrogen. Then you want to find the moles of oxygen. Finding the moles of oxygen is what is tricky. In order to find the moles of oxygen, you have to find the mass of carbon and the mass of hydrogen. Once you have the masses of those, then you subtract these from the, the total mass or the initial mass. From the total mass. Right, and then this problem is 3.69 grams. After you subtract from the total mass, you'll find the grams of oxygen that you have. And then you need to convert the grams of oxygen to moles. And you do that using the molar mass of oxygen. Once you do that, you have the moles of oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon. Then you can start looking at the empirical formula. So you want to identify the smallest number of moles of either one of those elements. And then you want to divide each of those elements by that. And then that will give you your empirical formula. So let's go through that. I'm just going to make this really small. Okay, we're going to do step one here. So if we have 5.40 grams of carbon dioxide, we need the molar mass of carbon dioxide to find the moles. So one mole of carbon dioxide is 44.40. 01 grams. So if you do that on your calculator, you get 0 0.122699 moles of carbon. Let's find the moles of water. I put carbon, I'm sorry, it's carbon dioxide. Uh, so we have 2.22 grams of water. Water is 18.02 grams for every one mole. So let's look at what that equals. 2.22 divided by 18.02. All right, 0 0.1 one, two, three, one, nine, six moles of water. Okay, now that we have the moles of carbon dioxide and the moles of water, we need to find the moles of carbon and hydrogen alone. We can do that by considering the ratio of carbon and carbon dioxide and of hydrogen in water. So let's do that. So we're on step two, finding the moles of carbon and hydrogen. So if we have 0.122699 moles of CO2. For every one mole of CO2, we have one mole 
of carbon. So this is the same. 0.1, 2, 2, 7. <clears throat> I'm just going to round a little bit um, to save space. Okay, so you have 0.1227 moles of carbon. Let's do the next one. You have 0 0.123196 moles of water. Right. Every one mole of water. You have two moles of hydrogen. So if you punch that in your calculator, 0.2464 moles of hydrogen. All right, you have moles of hydrogen, moles of carbon. Now you need to do number three, which is find the moles of oxygen. Now remember, this is the tricky part. So in order to find the moles of oxygen, you need to find the mass of carbon and hydrogen and then subtract it from your initial mass. So let's find the mass of carbon and the mass of hydrogen. You have 0.1227 moles of carbon. Carbon, for every one mole there are 12.01 grams of carbon. If you punch this in your calculator, you get 1.4736 grams of carbon. Okay, moles of hydrogen, 2 grams of hydrogen. So 0.2464 moles of hydrogen. For every 1 mole of hydrogen, we have 1.008 grams. So if you put that in your calculator, you should get 0.248, we'll just do four there, grams of hydrogen. Okay, so now that we have the grams of hydrogen and carbon, we can find out the grams of oxygen. So the grams of oxygen it's going to be the initial mass, which is 3.69 grams, minus the sum of these. So 1.4736 grams plus 0.2484 grams. All right. So grams of oxygen will equal 1.4. 9.68 grams. Okay, now that we have the grams of oxygen, we need to find out the moles of oxygen. So let's do that. All right, so moles of oxygen. Okay, if we have 1.968 eight grams of oxygen for every 16 grams of oxygen there's one mole so this equals 0 0.1230 moles of oxygen okay we are really close here we have moles of oxygen we have moles of carbon and moles of hydrogen so we're ready to look at what this might be as an empirical formula. So we have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So oxygen is 0 0.1230. Hydrogen is 0 0.2464. And then carbon is 0 0.1. Two, two, seven. It gets hard to read. <laughs> okay, so carbon has the least, so we're going to divide each one by that amount of moles of carbon. Okay. 
And then once we do this division, you can see that this divides to 1. Hydrogen divides to 2. And oxygen divides to 1. So our empirical formula then is CH2O. Now let's do an extension of this problem. So you've calculated the empirical formula. If I gave you the molecular weight of the molecular formula, you should be able to figure out what that molecular formula is. So for example, if I told you that the molecular weight, let me make that look nicer, if I told you that the molecular weight was 90 grams per mole, we could use this information to transform sort of this empirical formula to its molecular formula. So we talked about in class that N, which will be what you would multiply the number of atoms in this um, empirical formula by, is equal to the molecular mass of the compound divided by the molecular mass from the empirical formula. So we have 90 grams per mole divided by, so let's calculate the molecular mass of the empirical formula. So we have one carbon, so it's 12.01 plus two hydrogen, so two times 1.008 plus one oxygen, oxygen is 16. So we have 30.026 grams per mole. So if you divide 90 by 30, you get three. And so the molecular formula for this, you would multiply each one of these, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, by three. So it would be C3H6O3. So there we have the molecular formula and the empirical formula. And the empirical formula was what the clicker question was about. I hope this helps.